Hello, my name is Sydney. I'm seven years old. I live in Australia. And and I've been studying about the universe for a long time. And I studied my first thing about the solar system, which is the planet, since I was five years old. And that's when I started studying about the solar system. And I know we all live on Earth. There are some other I know we all we we I know we all live on Earth, which is our home object. But there are some other planets to be, but there are some other objects in space to be discovered. But not only the Earth is our home, it's also the solar system. The sun is in. One sun. The sun is in the center of our solar system. It's one of the 15 stars in our galaxy that has a planetary systems. And our solar system is over 500 known solar systems in the entire Milky Way galaxy. The solar system was formed 4.5 billion years ago. And the solar nebula formed our sun. Only 15 of the stars in the entire Milky Way galaxy have host planetary systems. And one of those stars is our own sun. And the sun is in the center of our solar system. And it's the biggest object, but that's only in the solar system. There's some other stars or and planets bigger than our sun. It's the solar revolt and Revolving around the sun are eight planets. The planets are divided into two categories based on their composition, terrestrial and Jovian. Terrestrial planets including Mer terrestrial planets including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are primarily made of rocky material. Their surfaces are solid. They don't have ring systems, they have very few or no moons, and they are relatively small. The closest, the smallest and closest to the sun is Mercury, which has the shortest orbit of, of three Earth moons. Venus is the hottest planet, and the same size as Earth, and its temperature is 867 degrees Fahrenheit with acid clouds and distant lava flows. Next to this world of fire is a world of water, is a world of life, Earth. The water systems on this planet makes it the only place in the solar system with life. The last of the terrestrial planets and the farthest terrestrial planet from the sun, which is known as the red planet, Mars, might have also supported life 3.7 billion years ago when it has a warty surface and moist atmosphere. Beyond the small four terrestrial plants of the inner solar system, by the four Jovian plants of the outer solar system. The, all, the four Jovian plants are divided also into two categories. Gaseous and Iceous. The gas giants, including Jupiter and Saturn, are made are made mostly helium and hydrogen. And the ice and the Iceous, including Uranus and Neptune, also contain rocks like the terrestrial ice and a mixture of water, methane, and ammonia. All four outer planets have multiple moons, 
support ring systems and have no solid surface and they are relatively big. The largest Jovian is all, the largest outer planet is also the largest planet in the solar system, Jupiter. Nearby is Saturn, the solar system's second largest planet. Its rings are able to fit between the to measure the distance of the Earth and the Moon, but a barely kilometer thick. Past Saturn are the are the iciest planets, which are far, which are the farthest planets from the Sun, Uranus, and Neptune. The slightly bigger of these ice giants and the closer of these ice giants, Uranus, is firmly rotating on its side. Next to Uranus is Neptune, the outermost planet and also one of the coldest, as the farthest planet and iciest planet from the sun, which makes it the loneliest planet in the solar system. Orbiting the Trieste between the terrestrial planets and the Jovian between the eight planets is the asteroid belt. It's, it's, a, it's a group of is a big group of asteroids and some are the uh, and the largest object in the Kuiper belt is smaller than the eight planets and the sun which is the largest object in the asteroid belt the dwarf planet Ceres. There's another asteroid belt further out orbiting the eight planets the icy Kuiper belt. Such as asteroids, the Kuiper belt is also home as to four dwarf planets and all the dwarf planet candidates such as Pluto and Sedna. Beyond the Kuiper belt is the Oort cloud, a fast spherical collection of icy debris. It's the only cloud in space that we live in and our solar system has one sun, 158 moons, eight planets, five dwarf planets, and 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 also five dwarf planet candidates, and the solar system, and trillions of asteroids and comets, making it a special place to call. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and view to our video. If if you like our video, then leave a like and a subscribe. But if you don't like the video, sorry, you can't give me a you can't leave me a dislike.